Hey guys, my name is Galena from Thousand Lashes. Um, today's video, actually, we're gonna talk about how to take your work from kind of average looking to uh, flawless. So there's actually five things that you can do right now that you can work on today to improve your work. So um, if you're new here and you haven't yet subscribed, be sure to subscribe to our channel because we're gonna be coming up coming out with really useful videos for you guys every week um, and giving you really helpful content that is going to benefit you and your work directly and help you grow your business as a lash artist. Okay, so um, <clears throat> the five tips. Tip number one. So the tip, the first absolute first tip that I'm gonna give you guys is to work on your direction. So um, it's actually really important to make sure that your direction is perfect to get a flawless set. It's hard, it's really, really difficult, but it's possible and it's achievable. And it's achievable with practice. So actually, um, you should never look at the direction of the natural lashes in order to determine your um, lash extension direction. You should always um, plan out the direction with the extensions and follow that. So this means that if the lashes are crooked and heading in different directions, you're actually just gonna ignore that and uh, apply the lash extension at the same angle. Um, so, this is a pretty complex um, you know, subject and it, in our courses we actually go much more in depth with this but for now um, the tip that you can use is just to make sure that you really um, follow the, the extensions lash direction so if they're all headed um, you know to the right uh, 45 degrees degree angle make sure that all the extensions are facing that way don't follow the natural lash Okay, so that's the tip number one. That should definitely, definitely help with your uh, the flawlessness of your sets. So now, um, the other aspect that is actually really, really, really important is the density of the fan. So if you wanna achieve that really beautiful eyeliner effect look, um, where the lash line is really dark and dense and it looks like the client is wearing eyeliner, what you need to do is make sure that the fans that you're using are um, pretty consistent and in terms of width uh, and diameter. So you need to actually, for that type of look specifically, it's always best to use a narrow fan as opposed to a wide fan. So a wide fan is typically used for more like fluffier looks, like kind of like um, where the lash line will not will not necessarily be straight. It's going to be more uh, zigzaggy and kind of like fluffy, which is also a really nice look. And some clients really like that look, and so do la some lash artists. But recently, uh, the trend has been kind of to have like that really dark lash liner effect look, and that is achieved with narrow fans. So um, narrow and it's really important to make sure that all the fans are consistent in diameter and symmetry. So if one of your fans is, um, you know, not symmetrical next to another fan that is not symmetrical next to another fan which is symmetrical, the actual, um, when you put it on the client's lashes, it's, it's obviously going to look messy. It's not going to look as perfect and flawless. So this is why um, the symmetry um, and symmetry of the fans is extremely important to achieve perfection. Whichever um, type of fan you choose, to, you, you decide to choose. Um, okay, so next, the next uh, possible um, tip that I can give you guys to improve your work is um, to make sure that the distance from the eyelid of the client is the same across all your fans across the entire lash line. So it's always best to use 0.5 to one millimeter, depending. Ideally, it should be 0.5. So um, as you can see in the previous picture that I showed you guys um, in our work, the 
the distance was variable. It would, sometimes it would be 0 0.5, other times it would be 1, other times it would be uh, 1.5. So that really creates a kind of like a messy, disheveled, um, all over the place look. So you really want to avoid that. You want to make sure that it's perfect, symmetrical and consistent across the entire lash line. It's always 0 0.5 millimeters uh, to one, but ideally 0 0.5 is best. Okay, so that would be uh, the other tip. Now, the last tip I'm gonna give you guys is actually um, about the inner corners. So inner corners and outer corners are often neglected and um, left to push to the side because they're the hardest to do. Um, but I would actually encourage you guys to do them first because um, they're the hardest to do and it's always best to start with them when you're feeling fresh, motivated, ready for the set. If you wait until the end, you're just going to be like, oh, like this is so hard. Like at the end of the set, it's much harder to do than in the beginning. So um, it's always best to fill out the inner corners and the outer corners first. Um, and make sure that you fill them out really nicely. One thing that can really help you is to have ta to use tape to um, pull the inner corner of the the inner corner in order to reveal some of the lashes there because it's a little bit hard to get to them. And um, and then you're going to be able to lash those inner corners, and your look is going to look much more finished, much more flawless, much more perfect. So I hope you guys enjoy these five tips that um, to make your work, to take your work from average to flawless. It obviously takes a lot of time, a lot of patience, a lot of persistence. It's not a one time and done um, thing. You need to do it over and over and over and over in order to have a light bulb go off and be like, I get it. I finally get it. Like it's working. So it could take months for that light bulb to go off. So it's really, really important to make sure that you continue working on that. So thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed already, please be sure to subscribe to our channel.